In my last video, I let you guys get inside my mind on how I got my first earnings of chapter five. Well, this tournament was the very next solo victory cup. I made it to the finals and this was game number three. I'm not gonna lie, this was maybe one of the most perfect solo finals games I've ever played. And I'm gonna break it down for you today. Real quick, before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know we finally made all-in-one 2v2s. This is gonna be the most well-rounded fighting practice you can get with your duo because it alternates between box fights, realistic fights, and zone wars. It gives you a good, well-rounded practice for all points in the game. Code's down in the description if you want to give it a save, but let's hop into this game. It started out with me landing Reckless Railways, and today I was contested. Right away off spawn, I got really good loot. I got a shotgun, AR, and some shield. When I get loot that good that fast, a lot of times I like to jump the person that's closest to me before he can get stacked. So I made a quick play, jumped over at this guy, but it turns out he was aware and he also seemed to be pretty stacked. Since I didn't get a complete jump on him, I decided to backtrack and try to get a little bit more stacked before fighting. Once I got looted up, I went over to fight this guy that was in this building, and I completely sold. This was the most unusual situation. I accidentally made a door, and when I reset it, he had phased through the door and we were just in a 50-50. Not the ideal situation, but we survived. Moments later, I walked over to the train station, and this guy was just super weak. Free kill. I kept on looting, got max medkits and max big pots, and at this point, I went to see if I could get the forecast tower. But somebody beat me there, so I just backed up. There's no reason to fight for something that's already taken, you know what I mean? So I got out of there. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought the medallion was already captured, so I started working my way deeper into the zone. But my chat was telling me the medallion wasn't captured, so when I looked at the map, they were right. And it was all the way on the edge of zone. I don't think anybody realized that medallion was still there, so I went back, captured that medallion. What I do is I just build off all my angles from above, and spray down at the boss until I can finally kill him. Boss fights at this point in the game are always a little sketchy, so make sure you block your angles. I didn't bother going to the vault because I already had max big pots and med kits, which is the exact heals we want. So I just head on into the zone. I got all the way to the center, made a big brick base, and then just chilled here. No reason to do anything. Eventually, the first half and half zone pulled max. I was able to rotate down the mountain to break line of sight from all the people around me. Nobody could see me down here, so I just used my grapples and got ahead. Once I ran out, out of grapples, I paused on this tree just for a little bit because rotating by foot is so sketchy when there's snipers in the game. I just wait until I get my grapples back and then I just start grappling in again. Usually when I'm rotating this late, I'll base up on the edge because usually there's a lot of people holding me. But I saw an opportunity to go a little bit further. If you can get further into this zone, it's always good. That way, no matter where the next zone pulls, you'll be pretty close to it. Sadly, the next zone pulled straight back to where I came. I just had to wait for the people above me to go and as soon as they went, I grappled off their builds and got all the way in. I based kind of close to someone, so I built an extra ramp to block that angle. That way, they'll be less likely to spray at me. Somebody based directly next to me, and because there was a player on the opposite side of this guy as well, I decided to spray at him in hopes that he'll get lobby focused. Sure enough, I was able to claim the wall, set up a really nice peak, and this guy got sprayed all the way to zero HP. But the player on the opposite side starts pushing forward to claim that loot. Now listen, we don't need all of the loot, just a little material refresh could be nice. So while it looks like I'm trying to fight this guy, I'm really just trying to back him up into his build so I can scoop some extra loot. I'm just trying to claim the build, save safely push him back and I managed to get the stuff. What happened next was a little bit not according to plan. Aussie's watching, don't sell. Hi Aussie. Oh my God, I'm selling. We're chilling though. Now the next zone opens and what I realized is a lot of people rotate this zone really early and I don't know why. If you rotate early, you're most likely gonna have to rotate again or you're gonna be stuck on the edge of the zone on the congested side. But if you wait a little bit and wait for the zone to start moving and open up further, you can get all the way into zone with just like two grapples. Long story short, for this zone, be patient and wait for it to open up a bit. Don't wait too long though, otherwise you might get held in storm. While I was going for the rotate, I just decided to scoop some extra mats, and then as I was going in, height spray at me here is a little bit sketchy. I should have seen that he doesn't have cones on his top, which means he's waiting to spray anybody that comes near him. But we still made it in, and we're healthy. Before the moving zone started, I saw this player based in wood, which usually means, you know, either they're not the best, or they're maybe a little shambles, so I kind of tarp over there and think about fighting him. He ends up editing right on my wall. I had a free shot, but airballed. And at this point, the storm's moving, so I just start my rotate. My first grapple was a little rough, 
rough. I should have aimed at that top left cornered uh, brick box. That way I would fly over all these builds, but instead I bumped into it and kind of got put in an awkward spot here. But we recovered. Lesson learned, always make sure you're going off the corners of builds with your grapple so you don't bump into it. I get all the way to the front of zone, so I have like 20 to 30 seconds to chill here and look back at people. I spray at someone and eventually somebody just built directly next to my box. Like, I don't know what was going on here, but I got a free kill. And that was like a max refresh. After getting that refresh, I just look at my rotate again, try to get ahead. Once you get a big refresh like this, you should just start trying to get as elevated as possible because if you don't get elevated enough and you get caught in congestion, stuff like this can happen. Honestly, I can't believe I didn't kill that guy, but after I saw him get out, I don't keep cycling. I just make some space and try to get healthy again because I still have all the materials I need. There's no point to fight when you're this stacked. I kind of stagger here and wait for my medallion to heal me up first before starting my big pot because I did have a fair amount of time to spare. And now that we're super healthy and have max materials, you already know where we're headed. It's time to claim high ground. I could have taken shots at this guy, but honestly, sometimes it's just better to claim height. I already have materials. I can just build over him and then spray down and boom, we have free height and a free win. So that's exactly what I did and it worked out perfectly. This guy dropped, I hit him pretty hard, so he is no longer a threat. But even though he dropped, there could be other players coming up to height, which is exactly what happened. Seconds later, somebody grappled up to height, but I was being aware. I was looking out for anyone looking to contest, and so I had the head start on this guy. I got him super weak, and honestly, I think he just gave up in the storm when I fried him. I make note of where that loot is because there could be extra mats that could give me the win or extra med kits. But I just tarp ahead and honestly, I'm just trying to stay low key up here right now because I don't want anyone to look up and spray me out. And sure enough, the next zone pulls straight back to that loot. This is perfect. If it would have pulled far, I probably would have had to go down a little bit. But because it pulls back, I can stay up in these old builds and just hold it. Make sure nobody chops it out. And I can get extra med kits from that body. And at this point, I have literally everything I need to win this game. It's like impossible to lose this. And to solidify it even more, it pulls back over the old builds again. So the only thing I'm doing now is double layering, making sure nobody chops me out. I'm not even really worried about griefing the people below me. I don't want anyone to look up, anyone to bother me. I'm playing for this heal off. Five med kits is pretty much always enough to win it, especially since I haven't taken any storm damage this game. It ends up being a 1v1. I am chilling on height. But that's when I realized I see extra loot there next to a new fresh build. And there was med kits on that loot. You know what that means? That means the player down on low ground has max med kits because he didn't even bother picking up that extra med kit right there. So that means he probably has six med kits, which is more than I have. So the new mission is pop all these med kits and then grapple down on that last med kit, get it off. And because I haven't taken any storm, I should still win this. He should die to storm sickness before I do. Unless he also played the perfect game and sure enough bro didn't take any storm damage even though he was playing low ground and he won by one tick that was honestly as unlucky of a game as i could have possibly had but it was perfectly played if you guys haven't seen the previous inside the mind videos i break down other solo finals games including a win go check it out and don't forget to save all in one 2v2s we finally released it i'll catch you guys in the next one peace